Party Next Door, born Jerron Anthony Brothway, is a singer, songwriter, and record producer from Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. Today we'll be discussing my favorite Party Next Door songs and the foot that he's had on our necks since his debut. Hello America, welcome to Music Monday. Welcome to the first Music Monday of 2022. I hope you all had a good new year. Welcome to the first Musical Monday of 2022. Music Monday is a series started on my channel to talk about my first and one true love music. Each Monday, I'll dive into a musical topic and share my opinions, sprinkle with some fact about an artist, album, song, etc. So I have on no makeup. We are all natural. Um, I don't think I'm talking weird, but I did get my wisdom teeth taken out on this side i had already gone through the process over here i got these taken out on thursday last thursday not this thursday because i will be in the future so i'm still you know in the process of healing um all i want is some spicy ramen but i can't eat that because that's spice now we're not here to talk about my teeth but the top just feels so weird to me it feels so weird. It feels like it just does not feel like it is producing. It is it is at the same level as the bottom. Because the bottom one I can see, you know, it's looking a little gross, but I see that it's closing up. You know, I, I see it's doing what it needs to, to, to do. The top one does not feel like that. However, I cannot see it. You are my dentist, so I, so I don't know why I'm telling you this. This week, we will be talking about Party Next Door, one of my favorite artists, and maybe one of your favorite artists, favorite artists. Let me tell you something. Party Next Door is that man. And with these 10 songs that I have and a couple of honorable mentions, I will 100% convey to you why he is that man. So before we get started, if you do like this video, go ahead and like it, share it, comment. Please, you know, do what you need to do to let me know that you appreciate this content, that you'd like to see more of this content. So of course we were going to talk about Party Next Door because why not? So, we are going to get this started with our number 10 entry. Our number 10 entry comes off of his debut album, Party Next Door 2, which was released in 2014. This song, this album was on my top 10 album masterpieces because it is a masterpiece. Um, it wasn't, I guess it wasn't that, I don't know. It was medium mediumly is that a word it was mediumly received it received about three stars out of five from you know the the music reviewers this is a masterpiece in my opinion this album is top tier so you'll definitely be seeing more than three it's about four songs from pnd2 on this so our number 10 entry is thirsty 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 is you thirsty his debut album he came out he said hi 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 i'm gonna continue to be stepping on your necks is that okay huh that that's fine and before we had a chance to answer he was he was on our necks his foot was firmly on our necks firmly grasp it it was right on our necks this song contains a sample of Missy Elliott's 2008 song, Chingaling, Changaling, Chingaling. It was written by Party Next Door, Sean Campbell, Kanyon Lamb, and Marshall Leathers. And it was also produced by Party Next Door. It was, this album, like I said, was released in 2014. So this was around the time that I had heard Party Next Door. So it was great because I had heard the first song that I heard, which is on this list. And then I was able to listen to his debut album. And I said, okay, mm-hmm. Hmm. I'm hearing songs that I like. I'm hearing songs that I that I vibe with. And this, along with the first song that I heard from him, is the reason why I had to go see him in concert in either 2014 or early 2015. All I know is it was cold as hell. And I had on my little belly shirt. My mama dropped me and the man off. And I remember waiting. That experience 
that was my first concert that I had ever gone to. That was an experience within itself. Looking back on it, we we did that. We did the opening act so dirty. I'm talking about us as a crowd. We did him so dirty because after a while, he was on stage performing his song, uh, Smoke With Me, something like that. It, was, it wasn't a good song, okay? We already wanted to see Party. Party wasn't coming out. So what did we do? What did we do? Party, party, party. Looking back on it, that's a horrific experience for an opening act to go through but at the same time bro smoke with me like what nigga no where's party and number nine number nine comes from party next door obviously off of his second album px3 party next door three pnd3 however you want to talk call it okay it's off of his third it's under his third project under the moniker party next door but it's his second studio album p3 it features drake and it's called come and see me yes 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 this was the first single released in 2016 it was written by party next door aubrey drake graham and noah 40 shabib and it was produced by 40 and party next door um when P px3 came out i wasn't too much of a fan of the majority of the album um i only liked this song and another song that is honorably mentioned on this list and i and i definitely love the vibe that party has party conveys perfectly the vibe of you know girl i really love you but now I don't. This song went three times platinum and it is one of the many Drake and Party collaborations that we have had the pleasure of hearing along with Recognize off of his um, first EP as Party Next Door, Preach, uh, Wednesday Night Interlude, wait, Wednesday Night Interlude, I don't think Drake is on that song. Drake is not on that song. Loyal? Is that one of them? You know that song where party is like, True is the stars in my hand. I am me and I'm loyal. It's loyal. We have over here, popping that pain on there. Gonna let a bang on there. And actually, I lied. Recognize is off of PND2. Over here is off of PND or Party Next Door, the EP the first EP under the moniker Party Next Door. Number eight is another song off of PND2, his debut album, and it is called FWU, or Fuck With You. This song, when we arguing, it's just me and me. I was hardly on working three to three, three like another time, it's like another time, it's like another time. I get to fuck at you. Uh, you just walked in. I get to talk in. Or I lost it. I love it. <laughs> when I tell you, Party Next Door is top tier. Like one of my favorite artists. We did go through a point where I wasn't really listening to Party Next Door songs. And I had to be brought back in by the man. He continued to listen to Party Next Door songs. And through him listening to those party next door songs i said okay mm, mm, yep i'm not about to play this man yep yep i love him. fwu or fuck with you was written and produced by party next door which was so inspiring to me because i me camera i make beats and i sing songs so i was like dang look at somebody else making beats and singing songs and look at what the making the beats and the singing the songs has gotten him with Drake. I was 100% inspired by Party Next Door, even though he's from Canada, which is way closer to Drake than I am in the United States of corn. But it was so inspiring. This man was writing his own, his own songs, making his own beats, 
coming up with lyrics that are bangers and I just say yes this is this is the path that I need to take did I take that path some somewhat somewhat I did I did this song contains a sample of the Mohawks 1968 song the champs it gives me so much nostalgia it puts me back working in the airport which I hated but working in the airport, coming to work all early, listening to my music in the back, listening to my music with my hear, my, my skull candy earbuds, listening to Party Next Door, and just saying yes. Mm -hmm. This man is top tier. This man is top tier. And he has not stopped being top tier. Okay, number seven. Number seven is a more recent song. Um, It was... Well, I guess, is it recent? It's been five years. I guess it's the most recent song on the list thus far. I was released off of the Colors 2 EP in 2017. This song took a while to grow on me, like I said. So what happened was, after I heard P3, I was like, eh, I'm not really messing with the majority of the songs on P3 and it makes me sad so maybe I'm gonna just you know take a step back from listening to new party songs you know I had the um the old songs from PND2 and from um the party next door EP where I was like yeah I don't know if I'm gonna be listening to newer songs so when Colors 2 came out, I didn't listen to it, although the man listened to it. The man is a big Party Next Door fan as well. He was playing this song, and I was like, bro, I don't really like this song. And then in the middle of the song, I was like, well, is that Young Thug? The song I'm talking about is Freaking You, okay? Room of the middle of one month, I want one. Room of the women, and they know it's me. Now all they want to listen to is Joe to see. Freaking you, is there a freaking you? Come and talk to me, huh? I'm sorry. Rush, rush! I'm I think I'm already. So when I heard this song, I said, so is Young Thug featured in this song? This got me on a crazy journey because I still to this day don't know if Young Thug was, is featured on this song or not. Now, I went a deep dive. Uh, Party Next Door has his own subreddit. I remember going on the subreddit uh, like two, three years ago because we were still staying in the apartment. And I remember them saying, you're just not a real Party Next Door fan if you don't know that sometimes he sounds like this. And I said, But after you get over the fact that he definitely sounds like Young Thug, have we ever seen Young Thug and Party Next Door in the same room? Have we, as a unit, I'm looking it up on my phone right now, have we as a unit seen Party Next Door and Young Thug in the same room? And I've just figured out the new title for this video. Music Monday Conspiracy Hour. Is Party Next Door and Young Thug the same person? After I got over the whole Party Next Door is definitely moonlighting as Young Thug, I fell in love with this song. It was a very slow love, you know, it wasn't love at first sight. It took me a minute to love this song, but once I started to love this song, which actually took me a good minute, because when I really like a song, I will play it, you know, in the car, or I'll play it in the house when the man is not around. And it took me a good long time to play Freaking You without the man being around, without him being the one to turn it on. It was written by Party Next Door, Michael Serio, or Serio, Noah Forty Shabib, Ryan Martinez, and Sean Seaton. Ryan Martinez, otherwise known as G. Rye, 
and Sean Seaton, otherwise known as Nino, which these two people are instrumental in a couple of um, songs on this list actually producing one of my favorite songs, the number one song on this list. So, you know, you gotta give props to where props is due. It was produced by G. Rye, Nino, Top Floor, and 40. Number six. Number six on the list is another song off of PND2. So how many songs thus far have we had off of PND2? Let's count, shall we? We've had Thirsty, we've had FWU or fuck with you and now we've had belong to the city so out of the five songs we have had three off of PND2 I told you it was a masterpiece you thought I was playing you thought I was playing okay belong to the city I remember when I heard this song I remember when I heard this song and then I remember writing a song to this beat and I remember being very proud of the song that I wrote. Will I still be proud of the song if I listen to it right now? I'm not sure I would, but I remember it being a, a stepping stone in me being more comfortable with writing and just exploring different topics. I just, oh my God, I just love this song. I love this instrument. I love this beat. It's written and produced by Party Next Door himself. It is the shortest song on the album, only coming in at a minute and 38 seconds. But you know what they say, the shorter the song, the better it is. The shorter the song, the better it is. I have one more example, I have a couple examples of that. But the song off of More Life, Nothing's Into Something. Big cup of act, I'm drowsy. I still posted away you first found me. That's a short song. And it's just the shorter the song, the more the song is going to be the best song you've ever heard. And they know they the artist. The artist knows that the song is amazing. That's why it's so short. The outro of All Me by Drake and featuring Big Sean and 2 Chain. We are speeding through this, y'all. It is 6.25 p.m. So I'm really being, what is it called, a responsible adult today. Let's move on to our honorable mentions. We have four honorable mentions here. I'm not gonna get into too much detail with these honorable mentions. I'm just gonna, you know, say a little bit and then move on. The first honorable mention that I wanna talk about is another song off of PND2 of course and it is called her way um like i said earlier this song only or i'm sorry this album only received i mean it was to me it's mediocre three stars out of five um i just really feel like they didn't have their ear to the streets like i do you know party next door had the beats for the streets and i just think that these uh music reviewers didn't have a ear they, their ears weren't calibrated to knowing what the streets needed. Because this, this whole album, PND2, was fire. What Beyonce knows female pop vocalist said, she said that when uh, she released her debut, or when she wanted to put out her debut album, they said it wouldn't have no hit, it wouldn't have a single hit, and it had five. So really they just don't have their ear to the streets, they not connect. The second honorable mention is called Peace of Mind. Another song off the Colors 2 EP released in 2017. It was written by Party Next Door, Ozan Gilderim, which I don't know if I'm saying that right, and Ryan Martinez or G. Rye. It was produced by G. Rye, Party Next Door, and Oz, which I'm pretty sure is Ozan. This is another song that I heard through the man. Another, another reason why this is honorably mentioned is because I don't know the lyrics. And a lot of Party Next Door, most of the Party Next Door songs on, maybe all of them, all of the Party Next Door songs on my list I know. I don't know, you can't say something is your favorite song if you don't know the lyrics. Our third honorable mention is also Nope. Our third honorable mention comes from the Seven Days. Seven Days. EP released in 2017 and it features Rick Ross and it is called Better Man. The man robbed me 
from loving this song. Because this man stood up in my face and said, I don't even think you like this song. And then played it and I said, nigga, what? How dare you? It's like breaking your heart is the easiest part. Loving you rough only gets harder. What? And you thought I wasn't going to like that? Like, I, I really feel like... In some in some ways, the man be trying to sabotage me. I really do feel like that because this song is an honorably mentioned an honorable mention. Cause I don't know it. We are spaheading through these honorable mentions. The last and final honorable mention is the only song off of the only other song off of P3 that I like. And it is the intro, and it is called High Hopes. I'm just checking on you. Everything is still good with me. I got high hopes when I'm checking on you. Now, in a, no, it's not rare, but in a shocking turn of events, I introduced the man to this song. This song slaps, okay? It's seven minutes and 22 seconds. It contains two samples, one from the 1996 Black Street song, No Diggity, and another from the 2015 Skay Lipton song, Varg, which is a, Nor a Norwegian song. So that's why I can't pronounce it properly. It was written by Party Next Door and Lucy Walters as well as produced by Party Next Door and Varg because it's you, uh, the um, sound effects in the beginning come from the 2015 song Varg. Um, this album also received lackluster reviews, three out of five. I'm not saying I agree with them, but I really do feel like they had their ear to the streets when they reviewed this album. I do want to say he's the blueprint, yes. Are you going to get upset with me? No, get upset with yourself. He's a blueprint. Bryson Teller wouldn't exist. I'm serious. Tory Lanez, who? Name somebody else. Wouldn't exist. I would have put The Weeknd in this category, but The Weeknd came out before him, I think. So you better be glad. Because, and The Weeknd does not have the same, he's not in the same category as Party Next Door, but these other niggas, they, they're, they're, all these bitches is my son's. This whole, oh girl, I love you, but I kind of don't, but I kind of do, but maybe if I do, then maybe I won't sometimes, is all party next door. He started this, okay? And all the rest of the boys followed him in, and they have done a horrific job. So, we are done with our honorable mentions. We now have five more selections to go. Number five comes off of the 2014 EP Colors, which was buried deep inside of my brain. I didn't remember Colors. I didn't remember this song and another song until I was researching for this Music Monday. It is featuring Cash Out and it is called Don't Worry. When I heard this song, what, two days ago, three days ago, whenever I started writing this, I say, yep, yeah, mm-hmm, yep, yeah, mm-hmm, is my song. Now, it was between this song and Just Know. I remember everything, just know. Cause I remember when it happened, just know. I don't know the lyrics. But what made Don't Worry appear on this list and Just Know not appear on this list is because for some reason just know is pitched higher so it's like his voice is too high and also travis scott is on the song and i'm not gonna say that travis scott ruined the song but i will say that the song was good and then travis scott's part came on and i said mm. so Back to Don't Worry. Don't Worry featuring Cash Out was released in 2014. It was written by Party Next Door, John Michael Gibson, or as he's known, Cash Out, um, Ronald Latour, 
or Cardo, which is Cardo got wings. And I said, now, now wait a minute, because I know he he did a song that I really, 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 really enjoy, that I really love. I think it's by Little Wayne featuring Two Chains back on my bullshit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he produced that song, and I said, okay, well, yeah. And Devon Jackson is produced by Cardo Got Wings, Young Exclusive, and Party Next Door. This was released in 2014, so I think I had heard about Party in either 2014 or 2015. So when I heard this, I said, yep, mm-hmm. I definitely 100% remember playing this song on SoundCloud because before it was Tidal and before it was Spotify, I'm not sure. It might have been Spotify, Spotify might have been around. But before it was YouTube Premium. And before it was, it was even YouTube Music, it was SoundCloud. Okay, yes, it was SoundCloud. SoundCloud is where I heard all of the songs, all of the songs that they didn't have on YouTube because of copyright. I heard it all on SoundCloud. And number four, number four is the first song that I have ever that I had ever heard from Party Next Door. I remember um, the man. He had his friend come over. We didn't even have our own place at this time. And I remember hearing this song, and I was like, "That's Drake's song." And he was like, "Girl, I don't know. I don't care." So I had to do my research. I had thought until today, I was today years old, when I learned that this is actually Drake's song. The beat was made by Party Next Door and then he did the remix after Days in the East came out. The song that I'm talking about is West District. West District and Days in the East. I know it's the same beat, both incredible songs. When I heard this song, I try to play numb to shit like this. But it's cool cause this is in love. We all have obsessions. Uh oh, sometimes, sometimes. Cause when I'm on the road, I'll be on the road. Um, it really changed. Because before, you know, beforehand, I was like, oh, Drake, 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 Drake. Then when I thought that this song came out first I was like wow it really makes you think and then that's when I started getting into Party Next Door because I was like well you know if Drake is sampling his songs and damn near using his whole ass song then I need to know what this Party Next Door fella is about it contains a sample of Drake's 2014 Days in the East, which is just the same beat that was created by Party Next Door. And also, g 1996 song, Only When You're Lonely, which was produced by Timbaland. That has nothing to do with this, but you know why. So this song was written by Party Next Door and produced by Party Next Door and 40. So, also, Party, you know, he be dabbling into writing as well. He has written work by uh, Rihanna, Rihanna featuring uh, Aubrey Drake Graham. And he has also written, I don't know if he fully wrote it or he, if he just had a hand in writing, Shining. Shining. You know what Shining is? Shining is a song by Beyonce Snow's female pop vocalist, Jay-Z, and DJ Khaled. Well, I guess it's DJ Khaled's song featuring Beyonce Snow's female pop vocalist and Jay-Z. Amazing. It's an amazing song. When I first heard it, I said it was wonderful. And then when I found out that Party Next Door had a hand in writing it, I said, well, duh. Duh, that's why I like it. Same thing when I heard work. I said, duh. Duh. Come on, look at the material. Look at the material. Okay, when Party Next Door is writing it, it's going to be a hit. That's number one. Okay, look, I don't make the rules. When Party Next Door writing it, it's going to be a hit. That's all I'm saying. Moving on, our number three entry, because we're, we're in our top three now. Our number three entry is a song off of 
the PNDEP. Um, it came out in 2014. It contains a sample of the 2010 Miguel song, Girl with a Tattoo. And it is called Break from Toronto. Do you know the level of genius, of big boy brain, you gotta be to create this song? This was song I feel like in the nighttime. Watch what she do when the light shine. Drunk niggas trying to talk in the strip club. Show the silhouette look like a dollar sign. What? And I'm caught up. That's just how a nigga brought up. Brought up. This song, I know it's top tier. It's on the list. We get it. But this is the song. I know I said he, he, had, he had his foot on our neck. But it was this song in which he walked in. He said, hi. Hi everyone. And we said, hey, what's going on? He said, my name's Party Next Door. Okay, hi. Um, I just wanted to know if I could put my foot on your neck. We said, <coughs> it was already on our necks. And then the sample, the use of the sample, clean. And it's another song that is written and produced by Party Next Door. Of course, how dare you? How old was he? Putting out actual bangers, hits, masterpieces this man was a teenager who does that Aliyah? that's who does it anyway i'm sorry i'm sorry i got sad to let you niggas know um now we are at number two number two is the final song that i'm going to be talking about off of the party next door two um album his debut album which as i said was released in 2014 this song has such a hold on me. It was my favorite song until I heard my the number one entry on this list. And it is called Option. I can't, I, there's nothing really to say about options. There's nothing really to say about options other than it is, it, encom it, it, it has all of the elements that I need from a song. And this is another song written and produced by Party Next Door. I swear, foot on the necks in his bag. He was snatching edges and taking names. And I, I'm, I just love that for him. To know that you have created so many masterpieces in your career that only you have had a hand in. And I just, that, that power, that flavor. Party Next Door 2 went certified gold. It should have went diamond. Our last and final entry, my number one favorite Party Next Door song comes off of, it's on all streaming platforms when he put out Party Pack, which was like, you know, all of the singles that he's released or hasn't released. It was originally released in 2015. It is produced by G. Rai and Nino and written by River Tibber, Frank Dukes, Nino, g Rye, and Party Next Door. River Tibber, who I just found out about today, this day. I just found out about River Tibber today. His song, No Talk, was sampled in one of my favorite Drake songs of all time, No Telling, off of the 2015 EP. If you're reading this, it's too late. So you already know, and I listen to the song list, it, 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 yes, mm -hmm. yeah. But the song that I'm talking about from Party Next Door, it has two titles. It was, your, it was originally called Kalani's Freestyle when it was released. And then when they broke up, he changed the name to Things and Such. Regardless of the name, this song is it. When I heard Kalani's Freestyle or things and such, whatever you want to call it. When I heard this song, I I was taken aback. I was flabbergasted. I was shocked. I was in awe, okay? Because how dare this man put out this goddamn song? It just didn't make no sense. It made absolute no sense that he would put out something so meaningful, so impactful, so full of flavor, and, 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 and who does that? 
who puts out songs like this? There are a lot, like Party Next Door is his own artist. He has his own mystique. He has his own vibe. And this song is very much a Party Next Door vibe. Okay. I know it's his song, so I know you probably don't understand what I mean. But this song is the song that you play for someone if they don't know who Party Next Door is. Because this is what you're going to be hearing. This caliber of music. This is what you're going to be hearing. So get used to it. Are you, are you ready to be... To be in a state of euphoria? Yes. Because when you hear this, I, I just... I When I heard this... When I first heard this song... I said, oh, 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 is this what we doing? We putting out, and like, he released this song in 2015. Uh, who, uh, what? <laughs> One thing Party gonna do is give you a good song every year. And that. That is a great track record. If this man is releasing at least one song every year that is top tier, you've done it, sir. You've done it. You've broken the code. By golly, he's done it. Jesus Christ, it's Jason Bourne. I really implore, is that the word that I want to use? I don't know, but I'm going to use it anyway. I implore you all to listen to things and such. If it's not your cup of tea, then you need to, it needs you, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say. If it's not your cup of tea, then I understand. No, I don't. If it's not your cup of tea, then you're entitled to your opinion. Though it may be wrong, you're still entitled to it. You know, I, I if, if you don't listen to any of the songs that I have on this list, that I've had on any of my Music Monday lists, definitely listen to my number one pick. Um, so I would just like, come on, you're on YouTube right now. You gotta be. That was my list for Party Next Door, my top 10 Party Next Door songs. This really solidified how much I do love Party Next Door as an artist. Um, as I said, he was a huge inspiration for me. His music got me wanting to create projects that were as impactful and cohesive as his. I loved that he wrote and produced most of his songs and finding out the parts that he had in a lot of my favorite Drake songs really made him an icon in my book. So if you don't do anything, if you don't listen to any song on this list, if you don't listen to any other song on this list, I, 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 I ask you, I recommend that you do listen to Things and Such or Kalani's Freestyle as it is previously known and, and I hope that you have enjoyed watching another episode of Music Monday. Next week I will be back to talk about another musical topic so if you like this video please like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, I guess my Facebook page is there. Do I post on those? No, but I definitely will start soon this year, 2022. So, my name is Brielle. I make beats. I sing songs. If you like what you see, come on along. Bye.